All right, so just so fans know, give us the perfect pronunciation of the name. Tumalu Ahuala. There it is, easy enough, right? Yep. Uh, what, what's the excitement for being out in Hawaii this week for the Polynesian Bowl? It feels good, it's exciting, you know, to be around other players who have a like mindset like me, so I feel like it's a good environment to be in really and you don't get to campus in, in June or? In yeah, I'll get to campus in June. What, what's, what's your uh, timeline between now and then? How do you stay ready? How do you get ready for college football? So pretty much I'll just be training every day, you know, just like usual. And so I'll have this week and the next week we'll be back to the same grind until June. Well, what's the weekly grind? Weekly grind. This Monday through Friday will be training with um, one of my strength trainers and then I'll also do extra work on the side, outside of school. How much do you keep in touch with Coach Browning during this time, or Coach Wilcox? I usually keep, with Coach Browning, he'll call me like weekly, like twice a week. He'll talk to me and we'll talk about things or anything like that. What kind of stuff do you cover this time of year? So we'll usually talk about, we'll just talk about what we're doing, but recently he's told me that they're going to start releasing us our strength program and also about football stuff. I was going to ask if they've given you anything to work on this offseason yet. It's coming? Yes, sir. But going back to your recruitment, once you locked in, you seemed to be, you didn't really waver. What made you so sure about Cal? Because I knew the athletics and the academics were there. You know, it's a power five school, Pac-12. It's a great conference, and also the academics was just there for me, so I loved it. Did anybody try and come in late and sway you or change your mind, or was it pretty non-dramatic? No, it was pretty good. It was non-dramatic. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, what, tell me about you and Coach Browning, the relationship you have. How would you kind of characterize that? I look up to him. I think he's a great coach that I can look up to and learn from. I feel like he's a good person. Like, he wants the best for me. And he also expects the most, which I think is a great thing that would be able to push me forward. How did he kind of frame it in terms of what he thinks you can do in that, in that defense and, and how he can really utilize you? He thinks that I can be just all around, like an all versatile guy. Like I could play any spot on the D line and really just be able to work and just be able to perform how I want to perform. Is, is there a spot you feel more comfortable at or and, and one you're going to have to kind of learn more as, once you get there? Um, no, I just feel like I'll play wherever they need me to, really. I'll do whatever the team needs. And then where are you at height-weight-wise right now? Uh, height, about 6'2", and then weight-wise, I'm like 270, 275 right now. Is that where they want, they want you at? Or? Yeah, they said that they said I could come in, but they'll be able to put on weight on me and everything. Okay. So, uh, obviously, it's an, always an adjustment from high school football to college football. What, what's your expectation for your first year in the program? I'm, ex I'm expecting a lot of good things, you know, for sure. Definitely, it's going to be a new experience for me, so it's something I should be able to soak in for my first year there. Do you think there's a chance that you get on the field as a freshman, or are you not looking at it that way? Have you? Yes, sir, I plan on I plan on being on the field as freshman day as much as I can for my team. It's been a very pivotal offseason for the program. How much have you been following all the transfer portal movements and who they're getting? And a lot of it's been on the offensive side, of course, but still for all. I've been seeing a little bit of it. I haven't really seen too much of it, or I've been keeping up, keeping up with it. But. I think it's I think it's whatever's best for the person. Well, it's a really big year ahead for Cal football. What what is it that kind of inspires you and gives you the confidence that Coach Wilcox and the staff have things going and, and are going to get things kind of back where it, where it was? I, I talked to Coach Wilcox when they came on home because I feel like they're just great people, so I feel like they're able to like attract those good people around them and be able to push it forward. But everyone talks about that family environment, that, that, that culture within the program. You kind of felt that yes, during your group? I feel welcome. I felt very welcome. Have you gotten uh, the rest of the incoming freshman class at all? Um, no, I haven't really talked to them. I haven't seen any of them yet. So you, uh, that, that'll happen when you get to campus then? Sure. Um, at, going back to Hawaii and being here, is this your first time in Hawaii? No, I, I, this is my second time. What was the first time? The first time was almost 10 years ago. Okay. And, and you know, this is kind of the official end of your high school football career. What are you hoping to get out of this week and, and maybe show on the stage? Maybe just make memories, make some new friends and compete with like, some great talent up here. Awesome. Thank you so much.